Carl, you ready? Dude, not again. Okay. Welcome back to the Card Market Feature Match! We're back for another week, and <laughs> after talking about Pioneer for like three weeks Never straight... Never shutting up about it. Yeah, we wanted to play some more Pioneer because there are a lot of old modern decks still living on in Pioneer, even though they're not being played in modern anymore, so we picked two very good decks. I, I hope I picked a very good deck. <laughs> I picked a very spicy, exciting deck that I haven't played in a very long time. But this time, we picked our own decks. For the next time, please, We'll decide our decks from the comments below. So scroll down, leave a modern or a pioneer deck, and from there we'll decide what we're playing next time. And while you're there, please, if you're not subbed yet, please sub. It actually really, really helps grow the channel. And we decided for every week you guys stay unsubbed, we're gonna add another ability to Ragvan. That's that's gonna be a lot of abilities. <laughs> so many abilities. Um, I don't want to read all of those, so for now we'll have to go into the games. <laughs> so it's still pioneer time on Card Market, but we already play tested all the uh, pre-constructed. So I brought the big guns. Blue Red Phoenix is like the best deck of the format and I really like its playstyle, so let's go! Pioneer is just so full of cool old modern decks that I want to try out in this format. I could play Burn, I can play Spirits, I can play Winota, Blue White Control, but today we feel like our head needs a scratching. We're gonna play Rakdos Arcanist. The deck is kind of a bit like a Jund mid-range deck in the way that you want to trade one for one until you can cover your opponent in either better top decks or card advantage afterwards from the graveyard, which is what we're utilizing by bringing in the Arcanist to double up on our Thoughtseizes. We are playing Claim to Fame to bring back our creatures for card advantage, make them attack, make our Arcanist hit, and just play back his bigger spells. We're playing a lot of removal, and we want to turn the corner with Young Pyromancer, and Kroxa. Young Pyromancer can either flood the board with creatures after I removal spell, removal spell, thought seize, or Kroxa can not only get the cards out of his hand early, make the go blanks better, but then if I bring him back for four mana, I can start hitting in for nine every turn. If Yamin came to play fair magic today, he's out of luck. This is the fairest deck in Pioneer that also feels unfair. You know Yamin Kauf, what you should never forget at the beginning of a Pioneer match? Alert. To announce your Luris. Right. I have a Luris. Would you like to roll off? Please. That's, that's not great, Carl. That's, that's much better. Impeccable. All right, you're <laughs> going first, I assume? I'm going first. Good luck. And thank you very much. I will need it. Good luck to you as well. I'll keep. This hand is playable. I mean, it's not great. Uh, it doesn't have any of the one mana cantrips, but it does have early removal for any small creatures that Carl might play early on. And then it also has uh, expressive iteration and charter cards to keep me going later on. All right, that means we'll be playing with all 14 cards because I'm keeping as well. All right, 14 cards it is. Three lands, a removal spell, an Arcanist to flash back the removal spell, a claim to fame to bring back the Arcanist, pass my opponent's removal spell, and then flash back my removal spell, and a go blank depending if they're playing Graveyard Shenanigans. This, this, this hand is awesome. Yemen's in trouble. All right, I'm gonna start things off with a Spire Bluff Canal. Oh no, you didn't. I, I did, and I'll pass the turn. Oh, I hope you're not what, up to what I think you're up to. Ooh, I'm assuming Yemen's either on Jeskai or Phoenix. If it's Phoenix, I'm kind of afraid of a thing in the ice here, so I'll keep up the land for Fatal Push. I will play a very confusing Hive of the Eye Tyrant. All right, yeah, that is <laughs> It confusing. is confusing and upset, um, and I'll pass the turn over to you. All right. Take a draw. Um, I'll play Steven. Tap. I'll take it slow. Okay. Then I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Now we want to win the resource battle here. So Yamin doesn't have any one mana spell that can kill my Arcanist at the point he is now. So I'm hoping that if I tap out and play Arcanist, he'll be so afraid of a double Thossi's turn next turn that he might use two removal spells on it, putting him down velocity here, and I get to use my claim. I will play a pathway. All right. On the Seer Step side of things. And I will tap two mana and play a Dreadhorde Arcanist. That is a scary creature. Is it my turn? Yes, it is. End of turn, I'll cast an opt. Oh, that's good. I'll scry one. 
put that on top and draw it. Ooh, you opted to draw it. I opted to draw it. My turn? Yeah, go ahead. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm banking hard on this iteration to find me a land. I'll cast an expressive iteration. Yes, that's quite good. Looking at the top three cards in my library. You've not yet played a land, correct? No, you I have not. not, no. Um, I'll put one into my hand. The other one into exile. Yeah, you can play it until the end of turn. And that one goes to the bottom of my library. I will play this canal and then I will... This is not a permanent. It is not <laughs> no, a permanent. Not. <laughs> uh, I will actually just pass the turn over to you. Untap. Draw. Yes. I would like to Thoughtseize you. That is uh, rude, Carl. I know. This Thoughtseize is really, really awkward because now Carl knows that my hand is mostly spot removal and not so many cantrips, so it's actually kind of hard for me to reanimate phoenixes. Uh, yeah, take a pick. Okay, I am going to take the Lightning Axe here because it forces Yaman, if he wants to put both phoenixes in his graveyard, he's gonna to have to play the charter course. If he does that, he uses more of his resources and taps out, meaning on the end of his next turn, I can crack the Fable Passage, double Fatal Push, untap, and go blank. Yeah, I mean, you're playing Phoenix. I am playing Phoenix. You came with the tier, not two, <laughs> not one. You came with the tier zero deck and not zero like in zero points. Zero as in zero regard for my well-being. All right, um, I am going to have to take the, I'm going to take two damage. Yeah, that's I go to important. 18. And then I'm going to have to take one of your lightning axes here. It's gone. I will declare attack. Oh, lightning axe, the other arc. figured. It's gone, you're discarding the Phoenix. Um, I'll play a tapped summit and pass the turn. All right, I'll untap and take a draw. I'll shock myself with the steam vents. 18 all. And I'll cast the Phoenix. Okay. And I'll attack with the Phoenix. I'll take three. Down to 15. 15. Go ahead. There's no shame in hard casting a Phoenix. Untap. I'll draw for turn. Play a Fabled Passage. That's a land I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's still good. It's not stopped being good though. So many options. This deck is really exciting because there's a lot of options. <laughs> yeah. But oh boy, it's... A yeah, the worst. Kept off like, and on the brain. Decks with many options also just always stun lock me. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cast Claim, returning my Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yeah. I'm going to Fame. Yep. My Dreadhorde Ar Arcanist. Yeah. I will attack yep. for three, triggering, targeting my Thought Seize. Yep. I will Thought Seize you. Yep. I will go down to 13. Yep. I will take your Charter Course. Unforch. Unforch, <laughs> like the cool kids say. Yeah, you know, um, I'm one of the cool kids. And I will pass the turn to you. I'll first I'll take three damage. Down to 15 I go. Oh yeah, I forgot, thank you, thank <laughs> you for that. Um, then you go down to 15, pass the turn. All right, on tap. All right, Treasure Cruise is like the perfect top deck. Three more cards, I will. Fire Impulse, your Dreadhorde Arcanist. Ooh, it burns. It burns. It's smoking here. Your Yemen, cough, cough, cough. <laughs> and I'll uh, follow that up with one of the, my favorite cards. I've been looking to <gasps> oh, forward no, to play with so that Oh no, that's so good, Yemen. I, I top deck the Treasure Cruise. Oh, that's painful. I exiled six cards, so I still yes. got to pay two. So I'll draw three. One, two, three cards. A bunch of cards. Yeah, so many cards. Quite a few cards. Okay, it turned out Treasure Cruise was not that great. We only found one more burn spell, which is once again not a cantrip that keeps us going, and two lands. So that kind of whiffed. I'll, I'll play Mountain. 
And I guess... Do you want to go to attacks? Yeah, I, I do want to go to attacks. <gasps> You're not bringing out the other phoenix! I'm not bringing out the other phoenix. All right, before damage? Yeah. Take, this, take things slow, Yamin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in pain. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna crack this level passage. Yes. I'm gonna get a swamp. Yeah. Is that a fatal push? I would like to fatal push oh. your arc light phoenix. It has fatally been pushed. <laughs> how do you push the phoenix? You must be jumping real high. Yeah, it, <laughs> don't know how, but you don't even take any damage. No. Nope. In that case, that's my entire turn. I am very happy with the chain of events. I can imagine that. I'll untap. I'll draw for turn. I would like to play a Fable Passage. Sure. Did you draw a negate? I don't know if I did, Carl. Actually, I do know. That that was a total lie. I'm, I'm just not going to tell you. I'm going to play into it. I'll play Go Blank. That is absolutely brutal, Carl. I will discard two cards and exile oh, my graveyard. It worked! It worked! It worked. And it is, it is absolutely the brutal. Backbreaking! Okay. That was. Yeah, that was a I'll beating. I'll pass the turn to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my draw. That okay. better be something good. I'll cast a thing in the ice. Alright. Uh, enters with four ice, ice counters on it. It does. And then I'll pass the turn. I will tap for a black, yep. and I'll fatal push this one as well. It is. It has been pushed once again. Fatally. I will untap for turn. Sure. Draw a card. Yep. I will play a Stitcher Supplier. Yep. One. Two. Three. So the big thing I'm dodging here is a Croxa, hey? Yeah. Um, and I will go ahead, tap these three, and put a Luris into my hand. Sounds reasonable. Pass the turn to you. All right, I'll untap once again. All right, all right. The the decent cards keep on coming. I'll cast a Consider. The decent, the decent cards. Uh, they're fine. <laughs> I'll look at the top card of my library. That one stays there. Oh, okay. I'll draw a card. Uh, I'll cast... An expressive iteration. Ooh, that's the kind of card you're typing the top of your library for. Exactly. Um, this I'll, is your second spell. This is my second spell. I will put one of these cards into my hand, and I'll exile another one. So I will <laughs> uh, cast another expressive iteration. Yeah, getting greedy here. I'll put one of them into my hand, and... Exile another one. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. All right, end of turn, I'll crack my Fable Passage. Yep. I'll get another Swamp. These are pretty swamps. They are. Karma Crow doing us Doing us good well. once again. Yeah. Making us feel like VIPs. Uh, I'm going to tap my Swamp, cast a Village Rites, sacrificing the Supplier. Yep. So you mill three. I mill three. Nothing relevant so far. Feel, feeling lucky. But I will draw two cards. You will. That goes to the graveyard. I'll untap. Yep. Draw for turn. I'll tap three to play my Lurs. Yep. And then I will tap two to play round three. That makes sense. I'll pass the turn to you. All right. Untap. Gotta close the door somehow. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope you won't. I'll start things off with a consider. Okay. Very considered person that I am. <laughs> Are you gonna opt to keep it on top of your library? No, I will opt to put it into my graveyard. Ooh, that's one of your eight threats. Two are gone. It How, is. 50% of your threats <laughs> are currently out of play. I will pay two. Not again! Not again! And now the tragic stream of cards! Oh, this card is so good! I'm just taking a vacation after <laughs> vacation. Like Yeah, I'm just trying as hard as I can. I'm toiling, sacrificing, <laughs> and you're just I'm just cruising. And oh, this is not looking good, Carl. You have six cards in your hand. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't find an answer to Luris and the Arcanist. 
So I have to let one of them survive, which is really not good. I guess I will have to fire impulse that yep. lures. That makes sense. Play a fabled passage and pass the turn. Three, four cards in hand. Four cards in hand. Yeah, it's totally with six. <laughs> I will untap, draw. I will play a Stitcher Supplier. Yep. Mill three. One, two, three. <sighs> I'm, I'm getting lucky with those Croxos. Huh? Yeah. I'll play a Blightstaff Pathway. Yep. It's beatdown time. It's beatdown time! I'm going to activate my Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Yep. It'll look at you menacingly. That's why it has menace. They saw the art and they're like, it has to. I'm going to declare attacks. Yeah. I'll swing in with both. Yep. I have a trigger. Yep. I will target Thoughtseize. Sure. Okay, I'm going to take two. So you're down to 11 and you get to look at the goods. Oh, they are good. May I interest you in taking Phoenix? <laughs> <laughs> no! Wow. I'm going to target your treasure cruise. And then I'll take four. You will take four. You also four. Uh, first get to XL one of these two cards. Oh, <gasps> yeah! <laughs> um, I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna exile the impulse. All right, it's gone. So you take four, you go down to 11. Yep. The turn is yours. Uh, at the end of turn, I will still use this yeah. fab fabled passage, getting myself an island. All right, I'll move into my turn. Okay. Uh, take a draw. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards is treating me pretty well. Oh no. I'll look at the top five cards of my life. Well, that's actually one of the best things you could have drawn there. I think Expressive Iteration would have been better. I I'm not sure though. One, two, oh! Okay. <laughs> that's I, what you want to see. I changed my mind, Carl. That's much better. <laughs> actually, no, I only hit this one oh, wow. piece of the puzzle, but... Um, I'll, I'll take a phoenix in the graveyard. Okay. Um, so what I, I'll do, Carl, is I'll play this pathway mm -hmm. and I'll go hunting with another piece of the puzzle. All right. Maybe we'll, we'll find another fiery impulse. Uh, one, two, three, four, Five. Not a Treasure impulse. Cruise is not bad here. Treasure Cruise is truly not bad. Also, I refueled my entire graveyard. Uh, so I will go on a Treasure Cruise. Yep. Paying one and seven cards from my graveyard. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, that card is good. Uh, drawing three cards. I truly think that is very good. All right, and then I'll move to combat. Your Phoenix will come back. Attack you with a Phoenix. Down Into the eight. red zone, down to eight. Uh, played my land for the turn, so it's your turn now. I would oh. have liked to find a removal spell for the Arcanist. Oh, you would have liked to have it all uh, uh, <laughs> on a silver platter. I mean, I think that was a pretty good turn. I got very lucky. <laughs> yeah, Multiple draw steps in this game have treated me very well. I will well. draw for turn. Okay, so this is how the turn's gonna go, Yamin. Kalf. Um, I'm gonna declare attacks. Yeah. You're not the only one in the red zone. I'll trigger Thoughtseize. Yeah. Hit you for two. Uh, hit myself for two. Yeah. Ouch, Carl, stop hitting yourself. Down a six. I would like to see your hand. I'll, dec I'll exile your phoenix. Oh, sorry. Oh, foreboding. I will oh, no. make you discard your phoenix. Oh, no, Carl, don't. You take two. I do take two. Nine. My top deck was good. I'm going to cast Dreadbore. No, Carl, on your that's phoenix. just, no, oh. come on. I'm so excited, I can't even hold the cards in my hand properly, and then I'm gonna cast Go Blank. Oh, brutal. Yeah. Um, your turn. It, Carl, do you wanna do a threat check? We we can, Carl, if you'd like to. This, oh, is, my, this with, is my exile pile, right? What did you come with? Um, I don't think I have anything to kill Carl with anymore. I, I came with prepared with four phoenixes and four thing in the ices. So there's two phoenix. I think. There's two things. One more thing. <gasps> Another thing. <laughs> <laughs> and all four phoenixes. Carl. Um, however, there is another source of damage in my deck. 
How do you win now? Um, I do have spike field hazard. <laughs> do you have six of them? <laughs> I do not have six spike field hazards in my deck. Would you, I know this is uncouth in uh, the feature match, but would you like to concede? Um, Yes. <laughs> there is literally no, <laughs> no way, way I, you I, can I, win. <laughs> <laughs> Par me having a call from. Okay. Um, next ha, game. Ha, have you ever had a game where Go Blank exiles literally <laughs> everything that deals everything damage? Everything left to win. <laughs> okay. Let's next go game. To game two. Well, that was quite the beating for me in game one. However, Carl, you seem to be rattled about something else here. What's well, going yeah, on? Man, I just found out how much money I save if I buy all my cards on Card Market from one seller, Karma Crow. That's right, Karma Crow is a huge power seller on Card Market. They've been with the platform basically forever and they have this huge inventory, which also allows them to lend us the card for recording these gameplay videos. Yeah, they have over 700,000 cards, so all you have to do is put their order through them, pay shipping once, and get all your cards for your EDH deck, your FNM, whatever. We put a link in the description below, just go down there, click it, browse all the cards, save a lot of money, yeah, but for now, it's time to get into game two, so get back on the other side of the table. For sideboarding, there are two things to mention. One is I'm going a lot slower, a lot more grindy. I'm bringing in Jace, I'm bringing in Anger of the Gods, I'm bringing in Eternal Scourge to keep me ready for the long game. And the other is that thing in the ice is the worst card ever. I have to invest resources in it, and then Carl just at some point decides to, eh, Fatal push it, like a uh, thing in the ice is just terrible in this matchup. One more thing I'm really excited to do post board is to hopefully Narset's reversal a village rights. Narset's reversal returns the village rights to Carl's hand after he has already paid the cost, so he has already paid one mana and sacrificed a creature, but I get to copy the spell, so I get to draw two cards. Whew, I really hope that happens during one of the post board games. Game two, now some things, are just not that good in my deck against Yamin. The Culligan's Command are usually a knockout two for one, except he's not really playing artifacts, maybe one or two post board, but I don't know. Discarding a card in his hand usually gets him to put a Phoenix in the graveyard, and dealing two damage only hits Phoenixes, which then come back. So for the three mana, they're a little tedious. We're pulling them out. Then I have the three Young Pyromancers. I know the deck is kind of technically named after Young Pyromancer. Thing is, it's the only thing that his spike field hazard hits, so he can just get them out of the way that way easily, no problem. And for two mana, yeah, I can bring them back, but I'd rather be doing something a lot more impactful. They also just don't block the Phoenixes. I'm also taking out two Ritual, because if I'm taking out all the Pyromancers, then I don't have the trick of, creating a 1-1, one, one, sacrificing it to the ritual, making it another 1-1 one, one because of the ritual, and just drawing velocity that way. So they're coming out as well. But I am bringing in two Duress, because sometimes just getting the key interaction spell in Yamin's hand just cuts out a lot of his velocity. Imagine getting a treasure cruise with the Duress, and a lot of graveyard hate. Now Magnum Spray is not really graveyard hate, but his game plan is just to recur his phoenixes forever. So if I nab a phoenix with that, that means I don't have to cast a go blank to get rid of it afterwards. Speaking of go blank, I started with two in my main board as a meta call. I'm bringing in two more to go up to four post board because those are really what wins me the game here. Yamin doesn't have a lot of threats. So if I get rid of all of them, I can repeat what happened in game one. So I'm bringing those and I'm bringing in a lantern just as an extra way to get rid of his graveyard. I just want to run Yamin out of resources. Yamin, yeah, you know what uh, would have helped you in game one? <laughs> Some black mana and a Luris uh, in your deck? True. Uh, I still have it. I would like to announce my companion. Uh, I wish you good luck. Uh, nice seven cards. Nice fistful of cardboard. Your, all your wishes came true. This is a fistful of cardboard, and I'll keep it. This opening hand is great. It has all the one mana cantrips that I was missing in game one. It doesn't directly have graveyard hate, but it does have the spike field hazard, which cannot take out a Stitcher supplier or a young pyromancer, and it could even exile a Croxa if I really want to. I, I can't keep mine. All right. Okay, I like to think we're brave, but we're not keeping a five lander kind of brave. We're gonna have to let this go. Anything at six is probably better than this. Okay. Up to six. No, up to seven and then down up to Up to six. seven, down to six, yeah, sorry. Uh, caught me almost cheating there. I'm going to keep this. All right. Speaking of brave, this is my kind of brave. It's a one lander, sure. I understand, okay, I get your quandaries with this, but I can play my Citrus Supplier with my one land. I can untap, rights it, 
draw two cards. That's three cards that turn that I draw. I'm gonna get another land. I can then thought seize. And the Citrus Supplier gets so many cards in my graveyard that if I then play Croxa, I can bring it back. I don't think Yaman has a chance against this. It's got a lot going for it. I'm gonna get rid of the extra duress because it's redundant with Thoughtseize and it doesn't get as many things out of his hand. Put one to the bottom. Clip. And I'll open on a canal. Go ahead. Anything to follow it up? Would no, you like no. to opt into playing something? No, not yet. You haven't considered it? I haven't considered it fully. I'm going to cast a, play a Hive of the Eye turn. It's hard to say cast or play because it looks. So I'm going to play a Citrus Supply. All right. Milling myself for three, two, three. Oh, no! Oh, oh, yes! no! Uh, and I'll pass the turn over to you. Now I only have to be scared of Dreadhorde Arcanists with power three. Which can happen. Which can happen yeah. with claim to fame. We have seen it last game. Consider. Okay. This a lesson. Consider this a lesson. I'll keep that on top and put it into my hand. All right. Uh, as I move into my turn. I will play an island and and I will opt. Okay, main phase. Interesting. Main phase opt. I will also keep that on top. What are you up to, Yamin Kao? Uh, this is a very tough decision, actually, Cora. Um, How is this a tough decision right now? Um. I'll, I'll hazard this Stitcher Supplier. No, why are you doing that? Th that's why it was such a tough decision. <laughs> How did Yaman know that? That's such a heads up play. Okay. The viewers will understand. They know my head. So playing this hazard on the Stitcher Supplier is a great play in general and even better if Carl is sitting on a village rights. However, it leaves me without an answer to a young pyromancer. That being said, I still think I should do it just because preventing the additional mill three and preventing a potential village rights is really good. Do anyways, you look very unhappy. That makes me very happy, and that makes also makes me want to pass the turn to you to dwell in your unhappiness. I shall. It'll be a very unhappy turn. <laughs> All on top. Sure thing. I'll draw for turn. Yep. I will thought seize you. You'll see the goods, and they are truly good this time. They are indeed very, very good. Um, wow. Okay, uh, I'll take two. I'm at 18. Uh, you may only take one card, actually. Oh, very <laughs> funny. <laughs> what a joker! Can you, can Who you... Who let you in here? Can you put the... In, like, <gasps> Wait, we in. can have a laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the treasure cruise. All right, it's gone. And I'm oh, not passing the turn yet. I will play a tap blood crypt right. and pass the turn over to you. I'll untap. I'll, I'll play this pathway that you okay. know about. And I'll cast a, an eternal scourge. What? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like uh, to give us a read? So I may cast this card from exile. So mm -hmm. if it ever gets exiled, it's yeah. coming, coming back it's coming soon. Back. And whenever it becomes the target of a spell or an ability, you control, not I control, only you control, it gets exiled automatically. Like and then just, you can cast it again for then three. Then I can cast it again. Like, it leaves as soon as it gets seen. <laughs> what a grindy game you came here to play, Yamin Kao! Truly did. All right, untap. So, yeah, Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Dreadhorde Arcanist. <sighs> That's what I was uh, a bit fearing. And I will pass the turn to you. All right, untap. Draw. This Dreadhorde Arcanist is kind of scary. I could spend my turn trying to find an answer to it, either by playing expressive iteration or pieces of the puzzle, but that has a fail case. And in that fail case, I kind of do nothing with my entire turn. So what I want to do instead is just jam Jace and force Carl to find an answer to all of my stuff. Carl already missed a land drop, so he can only spend his turn dread boring the Jace, and even then I still have card advantage engines in my hand. So, seeing as this was the thing that I was worried about, I have decided not to care about it. <laughs> That's how you can go like brizzly. Uh, you're taking two? Yeah, taking two down all? to 18. And I'm just asking you to deal with all of the stuff I'm doing, which is playing a Jace. Okay. I'll mill myself for two. Yep. And then I'll draw a card. That's where you want your cards. Ooh. 
Funnily enough, the Jace just milled an Aether Gust, so if I had cast Expressive Iteration, I could have gotten rid of the Dreadhorde Arcanist. But I didn't know that beforehand, and I stand by my line of play. And then I'll attack for three. You really don't care. All right. Fearless. Go ahead. I'll untap. I'll drop a turn. Sure. I will attack with the Arcanist. You. Oh, crazy. Trigger. Yeah. I'll take another two. The yep. Thought sees you. Down to 13. These are the goods. Um, you are going to lose. Now, they both do kind of the same thing, but one of them costs more mana. But the other one puts Phoenixes in your graveyard, yeah. but renders you less likely to cast them. I'm going to get rid of the iteration. All right. It's gone. You'll get hit for one. I did. 17. Exactly. <laughs> Quite exactly. Oh, is that a dread board coming? But luckily you're constrained on mana, aren't you? I am. I'll play a pathway. Yeah. Um, I'll play a Kruxa. Trigger. Right. Yeah. I'll discard this. You'll Soul take three fall. damage. Yep, 14. Down to 14. And before the sacrifice trigger, I'll village rights it. All right. Drawing two cards. Sure. That's the dread bar we needed for that Jace. Now all I need is a uh, fame so I can flash back the go blank, hit the Jace with the dread bar, and hopefully negate the scourge forever by having the Croxa. We're having quite the turns, Carl. Oh yeah, we're on fire, Yemen. Um, and the turn will be yours. All right, I'll untap. I'll take my draw. Please do. I will mill myself for two and okay. take another draw. Mill two, another draw. I will play a pieces of the puzzle. Yep. Revealing the top five. One, two, three, four. Ooh, oh, what a hit! Juicy. Whew. Very. Um, I guess I'll take the Lightning Axe and the Consider. Okay. Moving all the other cards to the graveyard. I assume you have another land? I might. Um, first of all, though, I'll cast a Consider. Ooh, okay. I'll put that into my hand. And then I will play this pathway on its red side. Are you gonna lightning axe and put another oh, lightning axe phoenix? It, it's not a phoenix. Oh, it's a spike. That would have been all the gas. Either way, I still get back two phoenixes. Still quite quite a bit of damage. And attack for nine. I am down to four. Indeed. That's a lot of stuff to deal with, Yaman. Go ahead. I'll untap. Yep. For what might be the last untap step of this game. No, it's never, never the last untap step. I, I still oh, get you still get the untap step. <laughs> I will I drop love a turn. Arguing over specifics <laughs> like that. Okay, my best bet is to dreadbore one of your phoenixes. It has been dreadbored. It has been successfully. It's, it's it has been really bored. Dreadfully bored. And play an arcanist and pass the turn to you. All right, let's see if I can find a removal for that arcanist. Untap. Draw. Or another spike field hazard. Or another spike field hazard. hazard. Or an is it charm? I will plus one this, mill myself a two, and draw a card. And or then... simply three spells to play this turn. Oh, true. Well, let's see. That's one. Expressive iteration is one. I will uh, exile a phoenix, put another card into my hand, and then I'll play an untapped steam vents. I've found another way to put another Phoenix into play. I can just cast it. That works. Attack for six. Game three. Game three. Okay, so seeing the Scourges in Yamin's deck makes me believe that there's no more thing in the Ice's lap. So we're pulling out for the removal spells. They're not permanent against any of the creatures left in his deck, and they're just taking up space. We'll leave some behind, some fatal pushes still in. What we're going to bring in is three Pyromancers. We had taken them out. We didn't think they were getting the matchup, but now they block the Scourge forever, and we just kind of need the velocity and the extra frets if we're going first. We're also bringing in an Engraft's Rampage, because we did see the Jace. 
I'm assuming he's bringing some kind of artifacts that will get rid of my graveyard and it hits that too. And sometimes it'll just get rid of a creature as well. Mainly, chase, artifact, hate. Sideboarding for game three, I really dislike. Is it Charm on the draw? Is it Charm is the kind of card it does everything, but it does everything at a very high cost. And I can't afford doing things at a high cost while being on the draw. I kind of have to be efficient. So that's why I'm taking out one is a charm and bringing in a magma spray again. My Luris and I would like to tell you that we would like to go first this game. Um, yeah, all right. I, I can't say no if Luris asks me, so. <laughs> With those four eyes. <laughs> okay, um, I wish you a good seven. And to you. Thank you. Let's make this a good game. <laughs> Um, I'll keep, <laughs> what is this hand? Well, um, we want Go Blank and we want Arcanist. So how about three of them? Now, <laughs> this is a bit of a meme hand, but what's probably gonna happen is I'll play out an Arcanist. He's gonna kill it. I will play out a Young Pyromancer, play the Go Blank, get a token. He's gonna have to wrestle with that. Play it another Arcanist. Maybe even I can fame it, play the Go Blank again. We'll keep this hand for what they call the lols. Uh, this is on the verge. This is not great, but it's also not terrible. So I'll keep. So this hand is really awkward. Five lands and two cantrips, no interaction going on. Uh, I still decide to keep this because in a matchup where Carl's deck is very good at trading cards one for one with cards like Thoughtseize and Removal, I consider it important to start on seven cards, especially on the draw, I get that additional card. And having so many lands isn't too bad after all either because that lets me cast all my cantrips and treasure cruises and the likes later on in the game. Okay, so I go first. Yeah, you I would like first. to play Dragon Skull Summit Tap and pass the turn to you. That's slow, Carl. That is slow. I'll play an untapped land instead and pass. That is fast. That's fast. <laughs> I will land instead and pass. That is fast. Yeah, you will. I will play a Blight Step Pathway and a Dreadhorde Arcanist. All right, go. I will once again play an untapped land and pass the turn. I would like to cast Charter Course here, but I really have to keep that Aether Gust open in case Carl casts a Thoughtseize or a Duress in his first main phase, because then I would have to Aether Gust the Dreadheart Arcan. Draw. I'll attack for one. I'll go to 19. I'll cast a village rights. Um, I guess you're sacrificing this. Yes. Sure. I will draw two cards. Yep. And then I will claim the Dreadhorde Arcanist back. Yep. At end of turn, I will Aether Gust that Arcanist. Bottom it goes. All right. I'll move into my turn. Yes. And I will cast a Charter Course. Ooh. Drawing two. And discarding one. Oh, all right, that's not what you wanted. That's not what I wanted. I'll cast, uh, I'll play another land and pass the turn. I'll untap. Yep. Draw for turn. I will thought seize you. That's very rude, Carl. Okay, I think this is actually one of these games where I can get Yamin down on cards. If I take the iteration here and play another Arcanist, he has to kill it with the Lavax or I'm gonna get another card out of his hand. That means he's going down two cards. Then I have the go blank, I can untap, go blank, get rid of the rest. From there, I'm gonna take two damage. 18, and I'm gonna take your German expressive iteration. I thought so. And then I will play a Swamp and a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Sure. Passing the turn to you. All right, I'll untap. Let's take a draw. I'll play Three an mana. island and cast a piece of the puzzle. Okay, see what you hit. One, two, three, four, five. I'll take these two. Yep. Put the rest into my graveyard. 
And then... I got a... Lightning Axe, then yes. Arcanist. Discarding this island. Okay. Pass the turn. I'm so sorry, I'm in. Oh no. Um, this is a pretty good turn. I'm going to go blank. Uh, you're being mean. Well, you're going to go blank, in I, fact. I'm, I'm going blank, yep. And I exile your whole graveyard. But only one Phoenix this time, not Only one two. Phoenix, yeah, you two still have them. three. Yeah. And you have that card that never dies. Um, Actually, I'm still looking good even after that go blank. I got to keep two really powerful spells in hand. Unfortunately, I don't really have the board presence to go along with that. I'll pass the turn to you. All right, untap. Draw. Let's rebuild. I'm gonna consider. Okay. Let's check what's there. I'll keep that on top. I will opt. See what's there. <laughs> Put that on the bottom. This is a fun game I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, just playing Solidaire over here. Um, Spinning those wheels. Yeah, truly are. Uh, truly am. Charter cores. <laughs> oh, all right. That's your third spell. See what's there. Discord one. Pass the turn. Not a phoenix in sight. <laughs> not a phoenix in sight. Those. That was not a good turn for you. They're not in season yet. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm gonna draw. So how many cards do you have in hand? Three. No, don't do it, Carl. I'm gonna play a mountain. I'm going to cast a Dread Horde Arcanist. Yep. I'm going to fame your dread, my Dread Horde Arcanist. Yep. I will attack, yep. swing for three, going blank you again. This second go blank is devastating. Exiling the graveyard that I just tried to build back up, along with me discarding one card, because I get to discard the Scourge, right? That's not really a discarded card. Still, devastating go blank by Calder. Yep. Down to 16. Yeah. Oof. Pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. I'll draw. And I'll Anger of the Gods that Arcanist. Oh, rude! Yeah. As, as, as awaiting that. It's too strong. Go. Cards in hand? One. A single one. No more. Oh. Um, ooh, and the gate, too. Yep. Uh, this dies? Yep, it does. I'll go Stitcher Supplier. Sure. Mill myself for three. One, two. Three, and Stitcher Supplier. Yep. Given fodder for my Croxa. Two, three. Yep. Hope the top of your library is good to you. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? I'll cast an Eternal Scourge. Oh no, it never ends. <laughs> it never ends. It That's, is truly it eternal. It is truly eternal. Uh, go ahead. Let's tap from one game to another even. I'm going to pay four. Exile yep. the select cards. It looks like I can't prevent Kroxa from hitting the board, and once it's there, it's looking grim for me. To cast a Kroxa? Sure. In response to that card entering the battlefield, I will Magma Spray of Stitcher Supply. That's fair. It's gone. I'll take three damage off the yep. Kroxa. Down to 13. Pass it to you. Uh, I will take a draw. Uh... I'll play an island. Is that good, Carl? <laughs> I don't feel so. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Breathe the air. This feel good. Any last words? I'm going to Dreadbore your Eternal Scourge. It gets exiled. I'm going to swing in for trigger three, so followed ten. by seven. You're down to three. I am. I'm, I, I'm so certain of this that I'm even playing my cards in the wrong order. I I'm see. gonna play this uh, Pyromancer. And even this pathway passed to you. All right. Um, I don't see a way out of this, but I'll consult with the top of my deck. <laughs> yes? What? No. Ding, ding. Do you hear that? Do you yeah. hear that? I think it's ringing. No, uh, it, it doesn't see a way out of this either. <gasps> even though it's a treasure cruise. Wow! Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, um, I, I'll just tap out for this treasure cruise. Okay. Go Good games! games. <laughs> Yeah, man. you're not talking. Oh, oh, damn it. I completely went blank there. <laughs> the card go blank? <laughs> yeah, like the card go blank, Carl. That wasn't very fun. 
Please prevent that from happening again by submitting decks in the comments below that do not contain <laughs> Gold Blank. Or at least don't make me play Phoenix against them. Yeah, we'll be taking our deck list next week from the comments down below. While you're at it, please, I've told you again, I'll tell you once more, like while you're there, subscribe. It really, really helps grow the channel, get us big guests and do more of these. In the meantime, we'll see you guys next week.